Hello doctors and FMG aspirants. Myself Dr. Sasi. I cleared my FMG in Jan 2023 with a score of 238. And I completed my NEET PG with a rank of 1401 in 2024. With my experience and expertise in NB pattern of examination, today I am with you with must know and most important topics for your upcoming FMG examination. FMT. So it is a bridging subject. If you ask me, if FMT is a tough subject, I will tell it is the most easiest part. Like there will be 10 questions, the minimum number of questions being asked, it is what it is 10 questions. Freaking 10 questions will be asked from this FMT part. And if you just read this few topics, you see, just this few topics, you will be able to get this, all these 10 questions correct. So it is what? It is the most valuable subject in your curriculum. So first one, you know about this medical negligence. Like now recently they stopped asking about the loss, like about this number numberings fine so if you still want to remember about this numberings then you remember about the rape dowry death vitriol edge and the abortions so just remember the, for this few conditions and about this special cases of medical negligence fine and just remember about this hierarchy of courts and their fines and as i told there's this punishment for this rape and this dowry death dowry death also what also this abortion okay so just remember for these conditions only okay next we'll move on to this thanatology in thanatology you should know about this hanging and asphyxial death like what are the types of hanging and what are the types of asphyxial death they will give this image and they will ask you which of the following is this cause of this asphyxial deaths fine and next you need to know about this post-mortem changes they will show this image of this cadaveric spasm Okay, and sometimes they give this image of this rigor mortis and they will ask you which of the following rule is used in this condition and in liver mortis they will tell you at which time this fixation occurs or sometimes they will ask you which of the following poisoning may lead to this kind of discolorization fine and about this changes of marbling even fine and the patient is died we did examination now you need to identify who is he so you need to know about this fingerprint types and six identification from the skeleton so what is the methods you will use to identify the skeleton or what are the changes you will see from female to a male skeleton fine and you also learn about this type of incision and the autopsy techniques so remember to learn about this types of incision which most commonly use and about the techniques of autopsy like lateral technique fine and in injuries, you just learn about this type of wounds, aberration, laceration and in bullet wounds, you just learn how a entry wound of bullet looks like or the, how the exit wound of a bullet looks like, fine. If you are able to differentiate between these two wounds, it is more than enough. Sometimes they may ask you about the range of the weapon, but it is being rarely tested, fine. Next about this gun parameters, then about the types of bullets, okay. This can be asked, but they will ask very less likely. Fine. And this about this blast waves and injuries, it is having this high prevalence of to be asked in your main examination. Fine. Next, this identification methods of your blood and semen. It is what this Barbirios test, Takayama test, and Tikman test. So all of the tests, just see the images also, see their description also. It is having this high importance in the forensic method. Fine. And about this toxicology part, just don't forget to study this plant toxicology and in animal study about this snakes okay snakes and metals just try to study about this arsenic thallium alert and mercury fine and next about this intoxicants like alcohol cocaine and opioids just study the features of intoxication and also study about their withdrawal symptoms so if you do study these two things it is more than enough Fine. And the final most important part of this forensic medicine, it is what it is the sexual paraphilias. Mostly what they will give, they will give this description of the sexual paraphilia and they will ask which of the following is being described there. Okay. They will ask you the definition of it. Fine. So just remember about this sexual paraphilia. So these are the must know and most important topics from our basics to our connecting subject, which is, what, which is the FMT. And before taking to the next part, Will you be able to identify him? Who is he? Yeah, our favorite Tala. Who is what? MS Dhoni. He told 
A calm mind is the ultimate weapon against your battles. So remember one thing. You'll be having lot of hurdles while doing this examination. I know it will be harder in initial days. But later on just remind one thing. Once you pass the examination, everything will be falling into your hands. So have a calm mindset in your examination. If you have this calm mindset, you will be able to crack this examination and come out with flying colors. Fine. With this, we will move on to our next part. Mostly it is what it is the clinical part. In clinical part, if you score huge in clinical part, no one can fail you. Okay, even NB cannot fail you. Fine. Just remember one thing that time is now. So you should make use of this PDF or this video for sure. And if you are able to make use of this video, you will be able to get your pass mark and you will be able to get maximum mark from your FMG examination. Okay. I am waiting to see you with the other side with colorful colors of passing the examination. Thank you for watching the video. Bye bye.